In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create victory stand in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the stand uh, starting with the option number three or the stand number three you can see here. Uh, then I've added one a kind of a placard here where you can add some detailed text along with the icon and I've added some shadow effect here. When I click, it will show you the stand number two you can see here and it will show you the same detailed text here and then comes the position number one. Uh, again you can add the detailed text here and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background then go to insert shapes uh, from the basic shapes, I'm going to choose this uh, block arc. So draw it by holding the shift key. You can see here, it looks something like this. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. So let me just increase the size a little bit more. And you can see two small orange points here. I'm just going to drag this something like this. Can you see here? And here also, I'm just going to drag it something like this. Okay, this uh, design should look like this and then shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to format shape and go to the effects under 3d rotation go to presets from the presets i'm going to choose this one which is perspective relax moderately and then you can see the ro different rotations here so i'm just going to change this y rotation you can see here maybe like this and then i'm just going to the 3d format and i'm going to increase the depth so you can see here it looks like this now again if you want to increase the size you can just hold the shift key and increase the size and it looks like this so i'm just going to place it here now i'm just going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d you can see here and i'm just going to put on top of the first one okay and then you can see here uh, sometimes it will not align so not a problem with that one then i'm going to cut this uh, some portion from the left go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw a rectangle and i'm just going to rotate it something like this you can see here and then i'm just going to select the shape which is on the top one hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape and i'm going to subtract it so i end up getting a shape something like this you can see here and then again you can align it again press ctrl d to duplicate this is the third one i'm just going to place it here exactly all right now i'm just going to cut from the right side okay go to insert shapes and i'm going to choose again the rectangle draw a rectangle you can see here you can cut something like this all right then select this shape hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape and subtract and i got this shape so you can see here i've got one two and three and then you can just align it accordingly again you need to reduce the size you can reduce it and align it okay so you can see here and then i'm going to add the options here all right so go to insert shapes and choose the rectangle draw a rectangle something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and then go to the 3d effects and scroll it down to 3d rotation and i'm going to just select this one you can see here perspective right again how much you need right you can just you can see here different rotations are there you can just rotate it again you can see here all different rotations so let me just rotate it like this still i want more you can see here like this you can rotate it so different different options are available here okay and then i'm just going to put it here go to insert shapes select the one more rectangle draw a rectangle shape outline no outline shape fill make it uh, a gray color okay shape outline no outline and then i'm just going to select this one go to home 
and the format painter click it here it becomes white again you can just change the color to any other color okay and send this to back so it looks like this again you can put it here now select this one press ctrl d to duplicate bring it the other side and then we need to rotate it the other side now so go to the format again you can see here in this case i'm just going to choose uh, maybe here uh, this one you can see here all right and this also i'm going to choose the same thing and then put it here and press ctrl d to duplicate and this one they should not be any okay so let me just select all and bring this down okay so that i've got the enough space and here i'm just going to select one more rectangle straight and the same color i'm going to give and send this to back so you can see here we have put the, the this victory stand and then you can add any text of your choice so go to insert text box i'll just say equals lorem within bracket one and i don't want this much large text so i'm just going to delete the unwanted text delete this one and center align reduce the size now if i put like this it's not matching you know it's not uh, aligning with this one so what you need to do there are two options here so shape options and text options now we are talking about the text so let's select the text options and then again go to the effects and then here you go to the 3d rotation and then i can just select this one and again you can see here with the help of this different uh, uh, rotations i can just put this text again press ctrl d and here i don't need any rotation just straightforward again press ctrl d bring it here all right and this one i'm just going to make it like this you can see here and the same way you can put number one two and three so i'm just going to type one make it a bigger font maybe arial black center align white font increase the size and you can just put it here one all right press ctrl d maybe you can reduce the size and put it to and this also go to the text options effects and then put it like this here all right press ctrl d and this is number three and this one i'm just going to change it maybe this one and then i can just you can see here different rotations are there i can just put it and reduce the size because it's come out small so you can put it like this and then if you feel that this is not okay then you can just align it the way you want okay so i think this is okay so like this you can make a nice uh, victory stand or the podium uh, from this uh, basic shapes